So this is a round over bit, and there's a pilot bearing here. The idea is that bearing rides along the side of your piece as a guide, and it cuts that corner. Ash is a tricky one to route in that it um, has a real strong fiber to it. So often they'll be cutting down. Let me see where the grains are running out here. There's a good chance here you, you're, you're hogging it down. They'll get behind this. This will start to peel off, and now your rotor's going between the part that's peeling off and the part that's going to be left behind. So, um, the rotor, in theory, you always want to feed against the rotation of the cutters. So, our, our blade's going this way, so I, I would want to come like so. But in order to get the material off, so that there's no danger of pulling the chip out, we would go the opposite direction, which is a little out of control, but it knocks the worst of it off, then come back going the right direction. Mark here, mark here, because you don't want to round it off there, because you want to have a nice tight mm. joint there. A uh, little trick I've found here for knowing where to stop is to put a piece of masking tape around. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, because what's under the base of the router is hard to see. But if you got that big piece of green tape or something, you, 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 you're going to see that before you see a little pencil line. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, nice detail here is if you round it off down here and then start there and then start again there. You know, so we've kind of accented oh, yeah. where that is. Mm -hmm. So we get the sh uh, your shape as we've been talking about. I'd suggest you wet that down with water, damp in the surface, and it's going to bring up any bruised grain. So when it dries, it's going to be rough again. So go over it, let's we'll say uh, 180, maybe 220, just to cut that fuzz off. Uh, and especially on the, the cherry, you know, if you don't do the wet, um, step on cherry, it always comes out muddy but you know, it's because it's easy to bruise that grain as you're working with it. So it's all kind of shattered in a sense. And then your uh, the varnish goes in and absorbs more in that rough part than it is where it's sand clean and it just looks really blotchy.